Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining us today at Snow Globe Rescue. I'm Tony, and as usual with me today is Allie. Hello. And uh, today we are going to work on a music box. Uh, about three episodes ago, we fixed this uh, strawberry shortcake um, uh, snow globe. And after we repaired the snow globe and got all done, we realized that the uh, music box wasn't working. Didn't realize that. And at the end of the video, I mentioned that uh, we'll just uh, replace the music box and put another music box in there. Well, one of our subscribers, uh, and thanks to uh, Darkened Charlie XO for uh, sending us the uh, comment, uh, mentioned something that we didn't think about. Uh, normally, we have these uh, music box problems with uh, you know a lot of the Christmas globes, and usually it's just a common Christmas song that, that's in there. So we'll just swap out the music box. And so I just kind of got into that habit. And uh, in this case, I was just gonna say, yeah, we'll just put another music box in there. But uh, our subscriber mentioned that sometimes the song may be relevant or uh, may be part of the theme of the globe. And I didn't think about that. It's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, so certain globes might have a specific song that goes with it. So <clears throat> we have no idea what this music box for uh, Strawberry Shortcake is supposed to play because it's never worked. Uh, if we turn the thing, it, the the good news is it moves. the good news is that the barrel turns. Yeah. But it's there's a lot of corrosion on it, and if you can see uh, the corrosion on this on the comb here that makes the, the 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 actual music, the corrosion is so bad that some of these combs are like fused together. So uh, once again, like I said, the good news is that it's moving. Uh, so what we're going to do uh, in this particular case. Uh, and there's another uh, video that we did where we actually replaced uh, one of these uh, music uh, barrels in another uh, snow globe. That was the uh, Santa's living room snow globe mm -hmm. video where we actually had to remove this and put it into another uh, music box because it the music box that it had was so damaged. Uh, now, in this case, uh, it looks like the corrosion is going to be our only issue here. And so what I normally do with these and I was gonna go ahead and uh, do this video so you guys could see, because this is the first time we've had one of these since we started the channel. Uh, the water apparently leaked out onto this thing and, and it's all rusted and corroded. So uh, I'm gonna soak this in, uh, in uh, distilled white vinegar. And I've done this before and it works really well. The distilled white vinegar will eat up all the corrosion and when it's all done, uh, we might need to put a little oil on it, but uh, we'll see if it works and if we can at least figure out what the tune is. And if not, we'll see if we can get this barrel and comb replaced or somehow get this to work. So mm -hmm. uh, first step is I'm going to go ahead and take, uh, we've already removed obviously the cover from the from the uh, globe. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this little winder on the back here for the music box. And the music box is usually held on by two or three screws back here. So I'm going to remove those real quick. All right. So we can see there's a bunch of corrosion in there and stuff. So uh, I'm going to set this in here. I'm going to save these screws so I can reattach it later. All right. So here's the uh, music box assembly. I'm going to pour some uh, distilled white vinegar in there and just cover up the entire assembly. It's not going to hurt any of the music box parts because uh, the vinegar is, uh, is only going to work on that corrosion. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> now you'll notice after a couple of minutes, if you've never done this before, uh, I'll try to zoom in on this, but the corrosion immediately starts to bubble. And after a while, you'll see all this like fizz coming off of the corrosion. Uh, it might take a few hours. It might take overnight. Uh, We'll go ahead and check back in on this. And once the corrosion is eaten up and we can clean this thing up, uh, we'll see if we can get it to play or see if we can fix it. So mm -hmm. we'll come back. We'll let this sit and we'll uh, try to periodically check on its progress. All right, so we'll be back. Okay, the music box has been sitting in the uh, vinegar for a few hours now. Uh, it's bubbling and fizzing. Uh, all the corrosion is being eaten off. And Allie's uh, taking a look with the screwdriver here, see how much of that corrosion on the uh, on the comb is uh, is loose and it looks like some of it is it's coming off but it still has a ways to go this might have to sit in the vinegar overnight and then in the morning will probably uh, mm. have some better results so all right so we'll check back on this and see how it's going all right we decided to try something here we're actually running 
the music box while it's in the vinegar and it looks like the operation of the music box is actually knocking some of that corrosion off and there's like a I think we may be close to finding out what this song actually is okay so we'll continue on with an update when we have one we'll be back all right we let the uh, music box mechanism uh, soak in the uh, vinegar overnight <clears throat> and I wish I'd had the camera on when I came out to check it because I pulled it out of the vinegar and it uh, it looked fairly clean I mean there's some stains on it but the vinegar cleaned uh, most of the rust and corrosion at least the surface uh, stuff and uh, when I pulled it and everything looked good but when I pulled it out of the vinegar I turned the crank here to listen to it and see if it would play <laughs> and it played just long enough for me to recognize a song maybe one revolution and then as you can see all the teeth all the tines on this uh, comb flew off right right ac across the room just all snapped except for this one right here and uh, this is something that uh, I've seen before uh, with uh, some of these music box mechanisms where uh, you put them in the, in the vinegar and it cleans them up real well. But the problem is if the uh, mechanism has heavy corrosion or heavy rust, the damage to the metal might be so bad that once you get the rust and corrosion off, it doesn't hold itself together. And that's what mm. happened here. There was some, uh, you see, if you saw earlier that the, the rust was solid, uh, these, these uh, tines in the comb were not even you know moving independently and once that uh, rust was eaten away there wasn't enough left to you know to stay apart so uh, I put some three-in-one oil in the mechanism here and if I turn it uh, it actually the, the the drum moves so everything's working except this comb is broken so uh, I'm looking at this and I have another music box here oh by the way the song <laughs> You're probably wondering right now, the song that this is playing is uh, You Are My Sunshine. So this is the first time we've ever heard the song because when we got this globe, the music box didn't work. And so now that we got it to work partially, it uh, we got the song, which You Are My Sunshine. So what I've noticed here, and I was telling Allie this, uh, I have a feeling that these uh, combs, the ones that produce the actual music, the sound, they're probably pretty standard, I would think, because I'm comparing them and they look like, you know, they look very similar. The angle looks similar. The length of each of these combs looks very similar. So I'm, I'm going to assume that maybe it's kind of like a piano, you know, it's like all the pianos are the same, you know, and then you just kind of have your different kind of like those pianos that had the roll of paper, what they call those uh, uh, player pianos, I think, I something like that. Yeah. Right. And so you put the sheet of paper in there with the holes in it and depending on what it is, it plays a different tune. So what I think might happen here is if I take this comb off of this music box and put it on here it should work so like I said before the comb broke it was playing uh, you are my sunshine this music box here is playing a Beethoven tune called uh, uh, for uh, for Elise for Elise I'm pretty sure yeah all right so when we pull this comb off of this mechanism, put it on here, I'm hoping it plays You Are My Sunshine. So let's uh, let's go ahead and see. Okay. And these holes are a little bit larger than the screw. And that's so you can adjust it. Uh, there's like a slight adjustment you can make. And if it's too close, the uh, mechanism may not work or may work slower than normal. And if it's too far away, it, it, it'll go too fast or it just won't uh, you know work at all. So... Okay, so there's the uh, there's that mechanism. Hardware. Yeah, so now we're gonna go ahead and remove this. Let's see. All right, so. It's funny the screw head is corroded a little bit, but the barrel of the screw is not. Mm-hmm. All right, so. This looks like the head from the robot from that animated um, oh, uh, movie. Uh, Wally. 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 <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to loosen the screws here, just, uh, and I'm going to push the comb forward so it's making the maximum contact with the barrel. And I'm going to screw the screws down 
Mm-hmm. It's gonna, <laughs> and we'll see what happens. Hold your breath. <laughs> she said. All right, Sorry. there we go. I got the comb. This is the old uh, barrel. Let's see what happens when I wind it up. Ooh. 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 Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> it, it is. Let, let me see. If it's okay. Something is wrong. The governor, maybe? Let's see. What it is. Oh, I see what the problem is. The governor? The governor over here isn't working. Um, the, this, this, is, this is this piece right here. Yeah. That spins. Some people call it the governor. Some people call it the regulator. It uh, it controls how fast the uh, the speed of the. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, no. Okay. So you know what we're gonna have to do? We're gonna have to do what we did in the Santa's living room episode. We're gonna have to just take this barrel off of here mm -hmm. and this comb and put it on this other mechanism right here mm -hmm. and uh, hope for the best. <laughs> so, uh, all right, that's what we're gonna have to do because apparently there was more damage than I realized because uh, the governor right here or the regulator, whatever you wanna call it, it's not engaging. It's, uh, where's the screwdriver? It's not, uh, it's not, yeah, it's not spinning when the barrel tries to turn. Yeah, it's not holding it back. Okay, so there's more damage. The, the, the rust did more damage than we thought. So, okay, we're gonna go ahead and remove all of this like we did before, and uh, let's, see what, let's see how that works. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove this. Okay, so here's the music box removed from the cover with no comb on, and as you can see, the governor is spinning right there hopefully you can see that and that's what's keeping this barrel turning at a steady rate like that and apparently something went wrong in there so all right so i've got this loose now the next step is to remove this barrel off of here and remove this barrel off of here and transfer that barrel onto here and this is pressed on so these this barrel right here is held on by these two pieces of metal that are bent and crimping that uh so unfortunately, this is not one of those nice ones that screws in. We're going to have to uh, uh, actually uncrimp that uh, that metal. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and set this up and then we'll go ahead and uh, do that. Okay, upon further examination, I just discovered something. And this is something I never, never found in my research on these music boxes. But the music boxes in the past that I've seen uh, had a, uh, like a... Uh, a slot for a screwdriver where you could unscrew the box and hit. And I, lo I was looking at this and I said, this looks threaded, but it uh, doesn't have anything for a screwdriver. And I said, just for the heck of it, let me see what happens. I took the needle in those pliers because there's nothing there for me to grab onto. And then I turned it and it looks like this piece is threaded in there. I don't know how they installed it, but if I take the needle in those pliers and turn it, it actually is working its way out of there. So I'm going to see if I can get this out of here without having to bend that metal. Let me see, hold on. Oh, there we go, there we go. Look at this. I just discovered something here. Mm. Ah, no more bending that metal. Here we go, look at this. Oh, this is gonna be easy. Okay, let me go ahead and get, there we go, look at that. Oh, cool. I, all this time, I didn't know that. No one told me, here it is, look. That little piece, I'll, I'll put a link, or, or we'll put a link in the, uh, in the, in the description to the other, uh, a globe where we had to re uh, replace the barrel like this and it was actually a, a quite a procedure yeah, but was. um but now I've discovered I didn't have to do all that so <laughs> so this is this is op opens up a whole new you know when it comes to fixing these uh, music boxes okay so that's great so now here's the new music box mechanism let me get the uh, old uh, barrel off of here along with this uh, original uh, comb. So now we're going to go ahead and press this back in here and it should just a little there's a little tab right there that fits into a hole mm -hmm. right here <laughs> and we're gonna press that down in there if I can get it in there. Makes it too easy folks. He makes it too easy. <laughs> That's how good he is. Uh, okay so let me go ahead and see what's going on here. I just got to get this thing lined up and then there we go. Okay, it's on there. Okay, got it. Okay, so now 
I will tighten this threaded uh, retainer back in, now that I know I can do that. Got it pushed forward, tightened down. All right, let's see what happens. Is it gonna play? Is it too tight? No, I don't know yet. Is it gonna play? You are my sunshine, let's see. It should, right? It should. Because <laughs> the barrel is what has the, the music. Okay, the comb is too close to the barrel. I need to loosen it up. I'm gonna just snug the, uh, I'm gonna snug the, the, the screws up a little bit here, just to where they're touching this metal here. And I'm gonna wait until I hear something come out of there. <laughs> oh boy. I'm not so sure this is working. No. Hmm. All right. So maybe this, maybe this comb needs to be adjusted. A little. You know what it is? The comb has more of an adjustment than I realized. See, it's like, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. It's like, it's playing it at, at a different speed though. Song really well, and that's, I just don't hear it. Yeah, the tempo right. is just off. I can almost hear it, but I think this this comb might be tuned to a different tuning than the comb that was in here. Mm. You hear it? Kind of. You are my sunshine. It's like it's in a different key. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. It's just what it sounds like. So it's like, all right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to mess with this and see if I can uh, get it lined up just right. And if we can get it to play fine, if not, I might need to try some other combs and see if we can find one that, that plays correctly on this. Because this barrel is definitely the correct barrel, so it's just need to find the right comb on here to, to, to make this work. We got it adjusted as best we can, and it is playing the song, You Are My Sunshine, but it's playing it fast, a little faster than, uh, than it's supposed to be. So I noticed that this uh, regulator or governor on here is much bigger than the one that was on the Strawberry Shortcake music boxes. This is what regulates the speed of the of the, of the uh, turning of the barrel. So I noticed this one has a small, uh, a smaller uh, regulator or governor like the uh, Strawberry Shortcake one, Dad. It sounds like it's fast, but you know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and take this barrel and put it on this one and see if it makes a difference. So we hear the song, but uh, it's a little fast. So we're gonna go ahead and try it out. That's very true. That's closer. That's definitely much closer. It's it's playing the tune, mm -hmm. but it's just off. I've made several adjustments to uh, this comb, and I can hear the tune, You Are My Sunshine, but just barely, it doesn't sound right. I'm gonna try a different comb. I've got another music box here, and I'm gonna pull the comb off of this one. Okay, so right. here's a third comb now. And I'm looking at the back of it and I can see how they have it uh, cut here. Not only the different lengths, but different thicknesses on the back that uh, I guess tunes this. So let's see how this one looks. So now right off the bat, I can see that these two combs have a difference right here. The, 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 the tines in the comb look to be fairly equal. However, on the back is where the difference is. There are different thicknesses. So that's interesting. So let's see how this one works. That's closer. Mm -hmm. There we go. 
That sounds so much better. I think I got it. There you go. And you know what? It's hard to hear until you have yes. it connected. Yeah. There we go. There you go. I did it. Yeah, there you did. We did it. Woo! So, Good okay. Job, baby. So, uh, the barrel apparently dictates the tune, but the combs are different. They're not all standard. Apparently, like I said, uh, they look the same on the surface as far as the length of each of the tines of the comb, but on the back is where the difference is because on the back, mm -hmm. there are different thicknesses depending on what tunings. This particular comb apparently is tuned properly for the song You Are My Sunshine on this barrel. And uh, so finally we found a combination okay. that works. So. Okay. Right, and uh, it doesn't develop the sound very well unless it's attached to something. So if we put this on the cover, we should hear it a lot better. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at it. Okay, the music box is reattached to the cover. I'm gonna put this winder back on. There we go. All right, so we fixed it. Um, the original barrel had to be placed on a new music box with a new comb and this is the third comb that we tried and on the third one we found one that worked and I had to adjust it as you probably saw uh, several times to get it just right but I'm going to go ahead and tighten it down to make sure it's tight and I think we got it to where it needs to be lined up so that it plays the song correctly. All right, Sounds so good. so now we put this back, and uh, strawberry shortcake should be in her original, original form. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Three dots of glue for the cover. Don't forget the twirly thing at the end. Okay, there we go, and we'll twirl that uh, right there. There we go. Okay, and cover back in. It's even louder when, when it's in the bass. Yeah. Uh, is the bass, is it going crooked or is it just me? All right. So, Strawberry Shortcake is now completely fixed with a uh, repaired uh, music box mechanism. And so, all set. She looks good. So if you need to fix your music box mechanism, uh, there you go. Uh, I learned a thing today where I can actually remove that barrel without having to bend the, uh, the metal out of the way. So that was a great thing. And the, uh, and the combs. Apparently the combs are not universal. So uh, you yeah. might have to go through a couple to find it. But we saved the globe and we saved the original tune. Yes. And the original barrel, but everything else in the music box is new. Yes. Just the barrel is uh, uh, the original. So... All right, so I hope you learned something on that and hope we helped you understand how that music box works and how to fix it. So join us on the next video and uh, thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for your time. Bye. Bye.